Iowa is about to dazzle the country with a raucous caucus next Monday night. And it's really round two of the Civil War Democrats started four years ago. Instead of the thrilla in Manila, it's sort of head games and aims. So here's how the whole chaotic circus act works. There are 1,683 precincts that are going to fire up around 7 p.m. next Monday. They'll screw around a little bit, then caucus goers separate into groups, each group representing an individual candidate, and they start yelling at people in other groups, desperately trying to convince them to come over and party. And this is the first allocation. Last time they didn't release this number and there was a bit of monkey business because Hillary only won the state over Bernie by 0.3% and Bernie is out for blood. If a candidate gets between 15 to 25% in that first round, depending on the precinct, then they've met the threshold and they are safe. But then, like a bunch of desperate booze hounds at closing time at a bar, they start to clump up with other candidates until those candidates become viable. Unlike life, second place actually matters in Iowa. The reclumping is called the final allocation, and that decides the delegate count. Biden is polling higher than Warren in Iowa, but if he doesn't meet the threshold, she polls higher as a second choice and could do better in the reshuffle than Sleepy Joe, who spends too much time shuffling around as it is. Where do non-viable candidate supporters go? Yangs might go to Bernie, Andrew Yang said as much himself. Klobuchar's might go to Warren, and everyone else might just shrug and go home. Looking at you, Michael Bennett. John Delaney, when are you going to pay me? There are only four caucus states in the country, Iowa, Nevada, North Dakota, and Wyoming. And it sounds like a lot more fun than voting in secret silence. I would much rather yell at my neighbors in my polling place than politely glare at them, which is what I do every time. But Iowa has its drawbacks. There was way too much emphasis placed on a lily white state with only 3 million inhabitants that sends a paltry 49 delegates out of the 4,746 to the national convention. That's only 1%. 1%, Bernie. So they should put the states into a giant bingo hopper and pull them out randomly a week before election day so we don't have this ridiculous and disproportional onslaught on a couple of states whose residents have to be beyond frustrated at the bombardment. Can you imagine endless mailers, robocalls, pollsters, annoying journalists, and worst of all, baby kissing, hair sniffing candidates all up in your business for two years? Give Iowa and the rest of us a break. Shuffle the order, shorten the campaign cycle, and save everyone's sanity. And that's the memo.